So Chiefs against Chargers Thursday night football, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Another chapter in the trilogy of Mahomes vs Herbert, the implications in the AFC West and the potential playoff seedings could be huge. For that, let's take a look back at the Raiders game. We almost get a feeling of vibes of the 2020 opening game against the Cincinnati Bengals, where we just managed to scrape a win, albeit with... Tyrod Taylor at quarterback, won the game by one score, but ultimately given the Raiders the opportunity to drive down the field for the go-ahead score in the fourth quarter. Yeah, in terms of sacks, we were 6-0, and in interceptions, we were 3 to the Raiders 0. We managed to stuff the run. Jacobs didn't have much to go for at all. I think he had one run of about 18 yards, but Devontae Adams absolutely smoked our secondary, along with a little bit of Darren Waller between them, roughly about 200 yards and a little bit of a worrying sign for our secondary in this game. So also maybe I'm the only one to be a little bit disappointed with us offensively as well. We couldn't get a lot going on the ground. Eckler didn't get too involved. Running back two, obviously Kelly and Sonny Michelle are gonna be fighting that position out between them. Sonny Michelle didn't bring anything to the table at all on Sunday. And as some of you know, I was a massive fan of Justin Jackson. If only he could have stayed healthy, he would certainly have been the running back two going into this season, I feel. Unfortunately, we let him go. Injuries played him throughout his time at the Chargers, and ultimately now he's at the Lions. Also, as ever, I do have concerns of the Chargers kicker, Hopkins as well. No missed extra points, so I suppose we should take that as a positive, but that 49-yard field goal late on in the game, that could have made such a difference. Obviously, the Raiders had the opportunity to go and win the game after that. I feel that he got bailed out basically by our defence and it's a sign of things to come because essentially we know how big kickers can be. Look at the Bengals last year with their playoff run. Their kicker was absolutely on it throughout the playoffs and that was part of their Super Bowl run. I still wonder whether Hopkins is the kicker for us going forward in the future and throughout the season. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you think on Hopkins? Let's talk Thursday night football now then. So for Justin Herbert, the fifth times versus the Chiefs. He's 2-2 two and two at the moment against the Chiefs. 1-2 and two against Patrick Mahomes because, of course, there was that game late in the season where Mahomes wasn't starting, but the Chargers won. Of course, the two losses, extremely close. Justin Herbert's first game for the Chargers back in 2020, an overtime loss, and the other time he lost to Mahomes, also going to overtime. We know how close these games against the Chiefs can be and such little margins for error in these games. And there we go, drawing back to potentially our kicker there. Uh, but news on Harrison Butker in a minute. So Mahomes looked as good as ever versus the Cardinals on Sunday. And although he has no longer got Tyreek in his offense, the Chiefs has done the best they can to get him the weapons around him to make up for that. Obviously, Valdez Scantling and Smith Schuster coming into the team. Obviously, with the always dependable Travis Kelsey as well as part of his weapons in that offense. Interestingly, we saw Edward Solaire used a little bit more in the receiving game, almost a bit of an Eckler role. He had two games in the receiving game, so he's another weapon to watch out for in Mahomes from the backfield. But in my opinion, and I think a lot of people call it this way, this game screams shootout to me, and it'd be nice to see Herbert be allowed to let loose against this Chiefs defense to see what he can do. Obviously, disappointing news coming out is it's looking like Keenan Allen's not gonna make this game, but Mike Williams and Josh Palmer, I wanna see a lot more of those in this game, didn't really manage to get involved against the Raiders, albeit, Justin was finding lots of different receivers spreading the ball around. Reminds me of sort of old Philip Rivers back in the days of, I think it was nine receivers altogether he found. But in this kind of game, we kind of need that out and out star receiver. We've seen Mike Williams do it in the past against the Chiefs. Can he come up with the goods on Thursday night? So on the injury to Harrison Butker, it's not looking good for him for Thursday night for suiting up at the moment. Amandola out of the Jets apparently has been signed and potentially could go if Butker's not ready. He was an undrafted free agent in 2020. I think he's onto his fifth team now. He was 13 of 19 when he played for the Jets with his longest field goal of 49 yards. In these games, when they can be so close and field goals can be so vital, if it comes down to it, the Chiefs kicking a 50 yard plus field goal to try and win the game, just putting it out there, it won't be Harrison Butker, who's basically automatic from that kind of range. It'll be a guy who hasn't got the experience and has never kicked a field goal in the NFL 50 yards plus. Could we be seeing Chiefs going for it a lot more in fourth downs in those long field goal areas? Or do you think it's just going to be a complete shootout and we're not going to see a lot of kicking anyway? The main key to the game for the Chargers getting the win is our ability to get to Patrick Mahomes. The combination of Mack and Bosa, we saw how well that worked getting to Derek Carr. Obviously Mahomes is a much different prospect. Uh, he can obviously 
create more time for himself, get out of the pocket, and that is ultimately going to be what this game comes down to, if we can get to him. And turnovers, again, as I mentioned, we had a great ratio of turnovers in the first week, but I feel in this game, two teams that are going to protect the ball, one turnover could be so huge either way in this game, and don't be surprised if Nyan T makes the difference between these teams at the end of the day. A huge game for the Chargers, so a huge game for us, and after this, we face Jaguars, Texans and Browns, so all very winnable games. If we could go into the Chiefs and get this win, we could certainly be the early pace setters early on in the season in the AFC West. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about the game. Let me know your score predictions. Enjoy the game, and I'll see you in the next one.